Hi everyone. So in this video, I will show you how you can copy various uh, selective files from a source folder to a destination folder. So in my example, I have both a population and a sample. So my population is stored in a folder called invoices where I have all my invoices here. However, in a typical practical scenario, my auditors in the sample file has selected only few samples of invoices to be verified by them. So they've given me a list of samples that these are the invoices they wanted. So if you do it traditional way, someone will have to actually go into inside this folder and pick and choose the samples selected by the auditor and store it in a folder called for submission to auditors which is called a, as a destination folder in this demo so and then that person will have to save all these one after the other but imagine a scenario where you have thousands of invoices and there are only few samples selected or out of thousands of invoices there are 100 samples selected it will definitely be a time taking exercise so I will show you a quick and easy method on how to do it. And in this video, I will also show you how to run a VBA code. So this was my source and that's my destination in this example. And this is my sample Excel file. So auditors have typically given me only the invoice numbers. For me to select and move my file, invoice file, from my source folder to a destination folder, in that case, I will have to define that as XLSX as well, because all my invoices are in XLSX. So first, I will have to create with a extension. So these are my files, which I need to copy from the source folder to a destination folder. Now in this Excel, press Alt function 11. So it will open Visual Basics for Applications window for you. Now over here, you can click on Insert, Module and it will open a blank modular for you. Over here, you can copy the coding which I have copy, paste here. This coding, I'll make it available for you guys in my description section, so please refer it. And the moment you do this, now you click on F5. Now when you click on F5, it will ask to run a macro. Now, over here, copy files so you can run it. The moment you click on run, it will ask you for selecting the file names. So we can go back to our Excel. We can select this file name with an extension. Click on OK. The second window it opens for you is the source folder. To to your source folder here and select the source folder and the third selection will be your destination folder. The moment you do this and click on OK. Now with this you see the magic. Now this was your source folder and if you go to your destination folder you see all those invoices being copied. The same invoices which was a part of the sample list. So I hope this video will be useful for you. If you like this video, please like it, comment for any question, share the video and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.